I have another controversial song for you. It's about something that's under attack today, and that is marriage. There are a lot of people that believe today that marriage is just a social contract and it can be between any two people. This song is actually a little bit obscene. I hope you'll hang in there with me. It's based on a real conversation I had with a real graduate student at Purdue University. And she told me that her church, and I use that word loosely, church, told her that it's okay to hook up and to have sex with another person, no regard for gender, if the two people loved each other. I tried to share with her that God's intent in Genesis was a little bit something different and it inspired this song. I hope you like it. My church says it's okay to hook up As long as we do love it will be enough The extended family is through Planned Parenthood will remove an unwanted one who might intrude. Why not make it with three or four friends? No big deal about gender or even a relative. The feelings of love and excitement control. My church says, yeah, duh, hook a hug. But the Bible says, for this reason shall a man, not a boy, leave his mother and father, and the same shall a woman, not a girl, leave her father and mother, and be united, husband and wife, not a puppy love, or the old lady in this new public commitment. Relishing becomes one flesh. Back to the skeptic. If there's a meaning or a design, it's likely just for a particular time. I don't trust it, but I give it a view. Leviticus, incestuous, and mixing of threads. It seems so odd and culture bound, and this is my head. Is there someone whose plan really cares for me? But the Bible says, for this reason, shall a man, not a boy, leave his father and mother, and the same shall a woman, not a girl. i 